Poor Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Fine. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh, That's enough. I've had it with you, you little brat. All I want is a little peace and quiet with my new husband and you insult him. Now look what you've done. You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Finally. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Just the kind of place a sensitive soul like you needs. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? I can't believe this. You must be the Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Guess what time it is? Yep, time for a beatdown. Get the new kid. Beat him down. <laughs> You're dead, new kid. Dead. Break <laughs> hey, you. Break it up. That's enough of that. Break it up. Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me- I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. 
You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins. And don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization. But really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey. Haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you! Leave me alone, Gary! I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up the Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little... Yeah, come and get me. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, sure. I'll do it. Hey, man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean... My plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? 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 What the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Pete. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars. No, no, I'm not lying. You kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. Huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? 
Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath, Gary. Socio what? Sociopath, it means? Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait, you need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'll be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out with a girl's door. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> Come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does listen to I'm a jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No. I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right, then, tough guy. Kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out. Stop, Gary. <clears throat> I'm trying to watch this. Ah, swim team. Intellectual stuff. So, tell me, Pete. Do you like watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does that fuel your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Mary, and show me your breaststroke again. Or, wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughen him up. Ow. Turn him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, oh, peace, Dave. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Well, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, peace stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes, we've got to take care of Russell and his boys.
Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon the school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Don't go out that door. Now, what are you gonna do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. Sorry. Stop. Uh, sorry. Give it back! Or what? Or, well, just give it back! Are you threatening me, Metal Mouth? No, I just, just give it back! You can't just steal things from me! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Chow spotty. Give it back! And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. I see you undressing me with your eyes, sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes, it's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm going to fail chemistry, and I'll never get into med school. Now I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? Well, if you get them back, I'll, I'll kiss you. Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh, okay, but... If you don't, I'll tell the whole school you're some kind of sad sicko who spies on girls getting changed in their dorm. Relax. One set of lab notes coming up. <laughs> hey, Beatrice. What's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew. Gross. Secondly... Mr. Hadrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. Okay, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over.
bunch of thieving jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins' character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Well, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. <laughs> there you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on. Relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over the school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me. Look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never going to be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys. The wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people and keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play me with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is gonna make it. And it's gonna be me! Ladies and gentlemen! Boys and morons! I give you... Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Ah, me, Russell! Ah, ah. You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? <sighs> yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. 
to that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Legal. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Dad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreed. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You've, you've been rude about mommy. Let's get this popper. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm going to get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess, oh. and I need people to do things for me. So hurry up, because I want to be first. Oh, man. All right. So, this is how you treat a girl? Well, not. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you like flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened. Like he's dead, because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great! You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy, it's you. Yeah? I guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you. You got those rich kids that throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, uh, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. My shiny bike's at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Hello? You, boy, don't just stand there. Come and help. What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life and death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. Offensive, degrading, patronizing, stereotyping crap! Hey, lady, you okay? No, I'm not okay! Look at this! It's just a garden gnome! No, it's not! It's an 
an insult. It's a joke. It's demeaning. I mean, I'll happily have kids laugh at me or have grown men ask me to do bizarre things to them, but I will not have this. This is so deflated. Is there something I can do to help? Smash them. Smash them all. All Provo feels full of them. Please, I'll even pay you. Just make it stop hurting. Yeah, you want to get a C-785. Then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. The 976? What are you, girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fund turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Now let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back! Evening, sir. Yo, boy, what do you think you're doing? Nothing, what about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research! To check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week. But I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girl's dorm. Okay. And if you get caught... I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You got dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. Uh, uh, good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein. Not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad. Too bad. Was it that jerk, Dad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course. The best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Who's the baddest? Me! Who's the top?
toughest? Me. Who's the man? Me. Me, losers. Me. The champion. Number one. I killed the best. I will beat the rest. Yeah. What if we got oh, here? That poor right. kid just beat up Biff. He's our new champion. What? He's that's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo. You disgust me. Oh. Huh. Oh. It takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! yeah! Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Ah, that's right. Me! Now you girls, learn to play nice, you understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich, so it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. Welcome back, Belle. I hope you had a good trip. We've missed you. To celebrate your return, everyone got special gifts. Of course, I got you one too. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'll be waiting for you at home. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Kids 
are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. Oh no! The visions are back! Get back, foul fiend! Oh. Come on, gorgeous! It's about time I show you what I know about chemistry! Ha <laughs> ha! And a little biology! <laughs> Hey, 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 kid. You got it, right? No. Okay, well, then you want to sit on my knee? You want to kick in the balls? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just a little down on my luck. I mean, one year, I'm living in Greenland with a posse of elves and some talking reindeer. In the next, I'm getting treated like a drunken fool, thrown out of the North Pole, and put to work in a dump of a town like this. Okay, man, now you're kind of creeping me out. Why, why, why does everyone say that to me? Whoa, I can't imagine. I mean, the other kids was just abusing me. Golly. Be a pervert, throw it snowballs happy. <laughs> You're just like him, little red haired bully. Hold on, which kids? Those ones over there. The tough kids, damn it. Not the rich kids from the fancy school like you. The molly coddle little bravis boys like you. Yeah, that's me. They keep attacking me, man. I can't take it no more. What happens in the old days? I miss Prancer. Oh, what? He was always my favorite. No, he was a primadella. Oh. I'm falling apart here. Hey, listen, man. Where are these kids? Over there somewhere. Hey! Whoa, hey, oh. easy. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're all right. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Well, good luck with those reindeer, you maniac. Mr. Hey, I'm, you know, Santa Claus, oh. right? Oh, yeah, right, Santa Claus. How could I forget? We met a few times when you crept into my bedroom when I was asleep as a kid, then only more recently when you were drunk under a bridge. You're right, man. How could I forget a fine role model like you? Ho, oh, oh. ho. Now, listen up. There's an imposter going around claiming he's me. He's ripping people off by posing for Santa pictures and charging for it. That's my money! If you take care of this imposter, then I can take what's rightfully mine and cut you in on the action, of course. What do you say? Well, I wasn't expecting much in my stocking this year, so why not? As a spirit! Hey, Santa. What's up? Well, if it isn't my favorite little helper. You want to smoke? Oh, no. I forgot. Little goody two-shoes doesn't smoke. So, what are you up to? This, uh, doesn't look like much of a workshop. I know. We gotta fix this dump up. <laughs> look through some trash cans for ornaments. Or any junk that sparkles. This is a classy operation. We gotta look the part. Oh, come on, man. With your whiskey breath and your weird manner. 
You just scream Christmas spirit to me. Of course, I do. But this dump needs to look nice. You leave it to me, Mr. Claus. Okay, man. Here's all the junk I could find. Nice going, kid. I think we're just about ready for business. Oh, by the way, you brought a camera, right? I'm afraid the elves let me down this year. Yeah, I kind of figured they would. Don't worry, I got it covered. Good. Now, go stand over there and make me, I mean us, rich. Oh, ho, ho. seen this much dough since my days at the track. The track? Um, yeah. You know, uh, the, the, the reindeer games and, um, uh, oh, hey, I might be able to catch the last race. Gotta go, kid. Here's your cut. Hello, miss. Oh, there you are, Jimmy. I'll make this quick. Your mom has sent you a Christmas present. Just great. I know. You are very lucky. Your mom is so nice. You may go now. Oh, Jimmy, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Why, Miss Peters, what's the matter? Well, you know how tonight is our Christmas pageant, right? It's kind of a pagan, spiritual, age-appropriate, loving thing we've got going on here. It's all about letting go and being really unselfconscious. Sounds like heaven, miss. Mm, great. Well, we are about to go on stage in a couple of minutes, but our lead percussionist has appendicitis. Oh, that sucks. Guess it's gonna be a rhythm-free pageant this year. No, I've been planning this pageant for months. I have hand-sewn the costumes. I stayed up for days painting the backdrop for the stage. I've called on the good spirits to watch over us, and all the parents are now waiting in the auditorium. Uh, so what do you want me to do about it? You have to get up on that stage and play. You have to save the Christmas pageant. Are you serious? Group participation in a public performance? No way! I'm a teenage boy. No? What do you mean, no? You have to help me. Unless you plan on failing my course. What? You gotta be joking, right? Oh, come on. The only boys my age who like that kind of stuff end up dancing in musicals or working for Hollywood. Please. Do I look like I'm joking? You want another F, boy? Okay, okay, I'll do your stupid pageant. You know, for a hippie, you're a real bully, ma'am. Hmm, peace and love, Jimmy. Oh, and there's one other thing. You'll have to wear this. Oh, now I know you're joking. Oh, come on, Miss Peters. This is the kind of thing I'll have to talk to my therapist about when I'm older. Have a heart. I'll look like a complete moron in front of the whole school. Well, in my opinion, you look like the hero who saved the Christmas pageant. Yeah? Well, it's not your opinion I'm worried about. You'll be fine. So you came? Yup. I bet you think I'm funny, don't you? A laughing stock? Not really. I mean, you dress a little weird, but... Yeah? And everyone is laughing at me. All of you! At me! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Have you had her? Who are you talking about? I bet you have. Have you had what her? What are you doing? Who? Hula! That slut! That slut I love. No, man! 
She's cheating on me, man. I know she is. The little slut. It's killing me. Me, dying over abroad. Oh, man, I knew this was coming. What are you talking about? She's with that rich kid, Gord. I know she is. How do you know? Will you find out for me? I can't take the suspense. But meet me at the underpass in your new Coventry tonight. We'll get evidence. Bring a camera, and then we'll settle this. Once and for all. What's this Gord kid got that I ain't got? Uh, nothing. You think it's funny, don't you? You think I'm a joke? Well, my little friend, I'm the king around here. Me! I know. You're the king. But my queen is a slut, and now everybody's laughing at me. Well, not anymore. I'm not laughing. Good. Good, kid. You and me, we're gonna teach young Gord to keep his dirty paws off my woman. My queen. Get him to the abandoned building in New Coventry behind Union Hall. I'll be waiting there to school that little weasel. I'll be there. Johnny! Hey, big fella. How's it going? Fine. Where's Johnny? <laughs> Why? Are you guys dating now? No. Then who cares about Johnny? I'm here. Listen, sweetie, I need a favor. Okay. I'm meeting Tad in a while, and I think a few of the boys might get the wrong idea. Especially your boyfriend, Johnny. He's so jealous and immature. Do you think you could hang around and make sure they don't beat Tad up while we're talking? Do you think you could do that for me? Sexy. Yeah, I can do that. I'm meeting Tad in the alley behind the medical center. It's sort of a study date. Oh, man. Hey! Oh, <laughs> it's you. Is that any way to greet your new boss, Harrington? Well, is it? Hmm, uh, no. No what? No, sir. That's better. At ease, girls. Listen, <laughs> boss, those grease monkeys are making life very difficult for Gord. That's because Gord was showing one of their girlfriends a good time. Some leader you turned out to be. Father says leadership is about looking after those you lead. He taught me that right before he laid everyone off. So what do you want me to do? Send them a message all over their dirty little slum. Why should I? Because you're the boss. Exactly. I'm the boss, and I'll go send the message. Amigo! I need your help! Amigo? Johnny and his goons were hassling me about algae. That guy's gone even crazier. He thinks algae is trying to put the moves on his girl. Algae and Lola? I know. It's crazy. Everyone knows algae likes blondes. Listen, find algae and get him back here until Johnny comes to his senses. Where is he? I don't know. I know he was working on a math project for Hattrick with Cornelius. Maybe he knows where Algy is. Who? Cornelius. You know, the scrawny kid in the acting club. He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. I think he has a 4.0 grade point average. So, Chad, honey, listen, it's just a hundred bucks. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh, but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my phone. Lola, I thought that me and you... Shut up, that's so... Big bones, not I thought you liked me. You said you did. I do, I, I really do. Some friend you turned out to be. You must think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it. No, 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 oh, but... Oh, 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 wait. wait. Yes. Ridiculous. Women. Oh, look at you both. You're pathetic. But, but I, I thought, thought she, she liked, liked me. me. I don't believe this. You both better get over oh, it. Listen, no. we gotta get out of here before Johnny Vincent sees you hanging out with his girlfriend. Oh, Algie, you take the girl's bike. Chad, Great. you better pedal for both of us. I got a feeling I'm headed for a fight. Of course I love you, Johnny. No, you don't. Love is complicated. That didn't seem complicated between you and that Gordo kid. I'm gonna kill him! Johnny, please! We've been over that. He's sweet, but it was so innocent. Get off! Oh, I love it when you get angry, Johnny. I really do. You're so bestial. Hey, Jimmy. 
Hey, what are you doing here? Looking for you, Johnny. At Lola's house? Yeah. Be nice to each other. You know what I like about you two? You're both so straightforward, so quick to judge, so fast. Ain't no one fast like me. Really? So you could beat Jimmy in a race? Definitely. I heard he was pretty fast. This little twerp? Give me a break. Oh, I think we've got a little challenge. I just love challenges. They make me so excited. Hey, good looking. What's up? Oh, you're so angry. But I think you've got a softer side. Haven't you caused enough trouble? That's not fair. I'm a nice girl. I'm nice to everyone. Now everyone hates me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Well, okay. But now Johnny and his boys won't even speak to me. Boys can get really jealous when they find out you've been kissing another boy. It wasn't like that. I'm not like that. Okay. But I left all my things in the abandoned tenements where they hang out. My address book, my keys, my perfume, my lipstick, even my laundry. Everything. Now I've got nothing. I don't have much money. That's too bad. Maybe you could get them back for me? You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? I'd be very grateful, Jimmy. <laughs> very grateful. Ah, Hopkins. Very well, young squire. Huh? How are you, young man? Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. <sighs> Are you going to be all right, sir? Ugh, it's that pompous ass Patrick. He's bad-mouthing me all around the staff room. Why? He keeps calling me a drunk. He says that I am irresponsible. He's trying to get me fired. He's trying to turn Miss Phillips against me. Well, sir, when people say bad things about what I do, I like to prove them wrong. Really? How? By showing a nobler side of yourself? Rising above it? No, not exactly. I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, uh, the treacherous Machiavel. I love it. Good. Me too. Get away, foul vision of hell! Sir, you sent for me? Death stalks me, but I've seen the light. I know you're not there, devil! Dr. Watts, sir, it's Hopkins. It's me, not the devil. He couldn't make it. Go! Are you okay? Oh. What did you do? I was mixing chemicals for my research when there was an explosion! The vapors have got to me again! Oh, oh cool. Oh. I see all of the triplets, Kane. Oh, triplets? Whatever. Such is the life of a scientist, Hopkins. The suffering can be terrible! Now listen, word is you're quite the problem solver. I've got a business proposition. <laughs> I'm listening. In my spare time, I produce certain chemical compounds with certain <laughs> properties. I need some of them delivered to my customers around town. Quick, though. They need them urgently. All right. Go pick up the stuff from my lab technician. He's in town, in Trailer Alley. I'm on it. Ah, James. Splendid. I said I'd do it. There he is, my hero. What's your problem now? If you really cared about me, you'd fight for me. First of all, I'm not sure I really care about you. Oh. And second, what do you think I've been doing? Tad fights for me. Gord fights for me. Johnny, well, he certainly fights for me. In fact, they're all about to fight for me. Right now. Everyone apart from you. Who's fighting? Tad and all the rich kids are coming here to fight Johnny and his boys. All because of me. I'm like Helen of Troy. So there's going to be a big fight? A winner-take-all sort of thing? Yes. Everyone's involved apart from you. I'm Helen of Troy, and you're more interested in boys called Troy. Whatever. See you later. I'm going to jump. 
Now tell me where Johnny is so I can finish him off. I know where he is, but I ain't telling you nothing. Who won? Me! Jimmy Hopkins! That's who! Who won? You! Who? Jimmy Hopkins! Correct! That's right, ladies! Me! I'm the daddy now! You treacherous little snake! You think you're tough, huh? You don't need any more of this, Johnny! You laugh at me? You turn on me? You get it on with that harlot who I... I love? I'm gonna destroy you! Alright, calm down, man. It's cool. You lost. No big deal. We can all be friends. You're done, kid. Finished! You learn to keep your hands off my girl! Get out of here! The cops! You're lucky, Jimmy. I'll kick your ass later. Get back here! Stop! I'm an officer of the law! Shoes. No thanks, bud. Come on. My brains against your broad 
Welcome to hell, Jimmy Hopkins! Ask me, 
Me, of all people. She. Can you believe? She's asked me on a date. Wait, she asked you? I think you're mistaken. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been some sort of mistake. You sure you haven't been hitting the bottle again? No. I mean, yes, I am sure. Well, okay then. Hitting the bottle. Lionel, you came. You look great. So do you, Deirdre. Thank you. Wait, what? Jimmy, what are you still doing here? Uh, what do you mean? This boy is an angel. He's been magnificent. Uh-huh. And he is so cute. Cute. Uh, nice. Come on, Lionel. Let's go. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy, you should get back to school. Wait, Miss Phillips. Ah, oh, man. Hey, Miss Phillips. Hey, Jimmy. So what really happened to Mr. Galloway? Where did he go? It's a sad story, but... Sometimes, when grown-ups get upset, they respond in the wrong ways, and, well... Small problems get bigger, and that's... really the... thing about being an adult. Miss, I'm not five. My mom's been married five times, and I've been expelled from seven schools. <laughs> yeah... He's a drunk. Stupid man couldn't control himself. Damn him! I love him. But that wretched ogre Hattrick guilt-tripped him into committing himself into the asylum to get dried out. If only someone could get in there and tell him to get out, I'll take care of him. Why don't you go? Because that loveless scumbag Hattrick told him not to let me in. Said I was a bad influence. Don't you worry, miss. I'll get him out. Okay. Meet me near the asylum tonight. I'll be there. And Jimmy? Yes, Miss Phillips? It's Ms. Not Miss. Oh, right. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. Oh, God! I am pathetic! Hey, Mr. Galloway. Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Miss Phillips sent me. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't right now, Jimmy. I'm late for my regression therapy as it is. It's fantastic. I've discovered I really do hate myself. Patrick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hattrick win. Okay, Jimmy. Hey, you little thief! Ah, my asthma! Sir, are you okay? I just got robbed by a dorky kid and I'm having an asthma attack! Of course I'm not okay! Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll give you five bucks and some comics if you help me get my stuff back from that punk! You got a deal. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Oh, can't you just get lost? Or help, we're trying to get out of here. Come on, muscles. We've not got long. What are you talking about? The jocks are coming. To kill us! Oh, thanks to you and your sordid little pictures. You wanted them. You're the sicko. Oh, a healthy interest in sexual matters is natural during puberty, bud. That's why I was having those dreams. Anyway, this is not important right now. I am about to die. We all are. When are they coming? What about your famous defense system? Oh, it's broken, okay? Can't you fix it? I need a bit of time. But we have no time. We're dead! Dead! I love you, my friend! Look, you fix it, I'll hold up the jocks. Now, where's that gun thing? Get out of here, you We're sickos! We're coming in, you go to get ready you. for you, nerd! Doomed! These feelings are natural, and I'm about to die for them! Just go fix the defense system, and I'll take care of the goons. Come on, you wimps! We're coming to get, get you! Get out of here, sickos! Hi. Hey. 
I know, it's funny. I'm the girl in the dirty pictures, ha ha. What are you talking about? Ugh, don't pretend you don't know. Everybody knows. Knows what? There's posters of me all over town. Oh, those. Now everyone thinks I'm a slut. Great, my parents will be so proud. I'll probably get expelled. Look, it could be worse. How? How exactly could it be worse? I mean, sure, I've been a bitch at times, been nasty, but I don't deserve this. My life is over. I mean, I've always wanted to be a model, but not like this. Everybody's laughing at me. I can't bear it. Everybody's always laughing at me. Well, maybe you're not as insecure as I am, okay? I just wanted to be popular. Now everybody hates me. Well, I guess I deserve it. I'll tell you what, you wait here. I'll get rid of those posters for you, or at least cover them up. Would you? I'd do it myself, but I can't deal with it. I'm really losing it here. Just hang in there. Hey, Jimmy. I've had a brilliant idea. Another one. Many are called, but few are chosen. Luckily for you, I've chosen you to help me carry out this little masterpiece. My finest work! What are you talking about, you lunatic? I'm talking about what we're always talking about, amigo. About bullying the bullies. About my favorite dish. Revenge! Revenge? Against who? Who do you think? The football team. Those overdeveloped, underbrained lords of our little manor. Reduced to a bunch of sniveling wretches. Bowing down. My, you mean our? I meant our superiority. Us ruling like gentlemen over the peasants. Us? Us? Yes. You ruling, of course. Me offering some sage advice. Doing all the thinking. That sort of thing. Merlin to your King Arthur. Whatever. What's the plan? Well... First, we need you to get the school mascot costume. And how do you suggest I do that? Well, go follow them. Wait for us to distract the gorillas. Go! While we still have hope! Yes, Candy from Ohio, you would be a fair queen for me. That little thong with those massive piles of silicone. Initially, you'd think, who's that handsome stranger? Then I'd walk into the bar, impress you with my suavity. Um, my suavability? Uh, how suave I was! I'd look up and say, What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? And you'd say, Take me to the hay bar! Hey, Ernest! <laughs> What's that oh, you're reading? Oh, nothing! Nothing. Just some. some history homework. <laughs> cool, can I see? It's. Personal. Personal history. Sounds interesting. Yes. Well, you wouldn't understand. Anyway, listen. The big game is today. Operation Trojan Cow is ready to proceed. Operation Trojan Cow. It's my master plan. My spies have already been gathering the information that will bring about the downfall of the jocks at this school. So I guess I'll be needing this. Does this work? Yes! Rendezvous with my agents in the field! Who is that kid? Yeah, who is that kid? Oh, it's that little Squirt Hopkins. Yeah, that's Squirt Hopkins. You're dead, Hopkins! Yeah, dead, Hopkins. Why don't you stop repeating everything he says and get on with it? That's right, losers! Yeah! <laughs> Jimmy, you did it! You did it! I'm king of the school! Oh, you beat them all in front of everybody! Thanks for your help, Petey. Oh, this is gonna be great! So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, what's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, yo, 
It's Jimmy. Oh, you're so funny, man. You're so funny, Jimmy. Oh, hey, girl, you're looking great. Great. Thank you for that show, thoughts. Hi, Jimmy. Boys, that's all I got to say. Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Everything. I did it, man. I took over this dump. These morons are my morons. That's great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I... Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy, not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Jimmy, it's really funny. Chill out, man. Jimmy, I need to talk to you about something. Not now, Pete. I'm basking in adulation. I mean, running the school fairly. Dude, so fairly. No, Jimmy, please. Pete. Enough! Yeah, shut up, Pete. The court must know they're king. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? Forget the school. The whole town should know about you. You're like the mayor. You should leave your mark on City Hall! Yeah, <laughs> dude! Take a dump on the doorstep! <laughs> no, you homunculus! Not a dump! It's something much more elegant. Paint a warning. Yeah! That's a good idea. I'll show everyone who's boss. That's right, Jimmy. All right, you girls wait here. This is going to be something they'll never forget. Wait, Jimmy, don't forget about Gary. Wait, wait for me. I did it. That's great. Listen, we've got a problem. I'm the king, Petey, the king. Whatever. You're a king with a load of problems. I've only been gone a couple hours. What could have happened? All kinds of things. You remember that promise you made about restoring law and order and improving the school? Let's just say it ain't exactly coming true. Well, if anyone wants a fight, I'm right here. I think Gary must be behind it, but trust me, everyone wants a fight. Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, man. Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Miss Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Patrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> that I never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. He drinks on school grounds. Think of the children, Dr. Gravelsnitz. Drinking? I will terminate the employment contract of any staff member found corrupting children. Morality is the most important lesson we can teach the youth. Is that so? Then you might want to look at these. What's this? It's that fat, evil hypocrite selling test answers to rich kids. Fire them. What? You took pictures? And to think I trusted you, Patrick! You're fired! But I... 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 Bye-bye, fatty! And as for you, Galloway, there better not be anything to that drinking business. This is a disgrace! It's a voice! I don't want to play! You're a pet rat! It's your fault, Jimmy! Um, what? No, it isn't. What are you guys talking about? Uh, the library uh, is full uh, of rats! Uh, and I got my free, free, free med test next week, amigo! Ah, you're such a lame old uh, Some king you turned out to be! Oh, how I long for the old days! Sure, we were laughed at and mercilessly bullied by everyone, but at least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us! Did you piss yourself again, Algie? Ew. No, I swear. Algie. I spilled soda on myself. Soda? Right. What a bunch of sissies. Well, I'm not afraid of a few rats. Jeez, pathetic. I don't believe oh. this! Oh, no! Hundreds, come here, boy! Hey, what's up, Mr. Burton? What's up? Oh, hey. What's up? My gym is up in flames! Look! Damn, how'd that happen? As if you don't know! You're a degenerate! The fake guy trusted you! It wasn't me! Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school to stop the bullying. Ha! Ah, bullying? I don't care about bullying! In fact, I encourage bullying! That's right! Bill's moral liber Mitch! Men! Yeah! Because you didn't make the team. You had to ruin it for everything. Yeah, you bully! You're a pig! You've ruined my 
wanted to be on the team. You like to torment weak kids, and you've got the personality of a jock strap. Yeah, well, I called the police. You'll be killed for this, my boy. It wasn't me. You're done for, Hopkins. What? What was that? It's Yuri. There's people trapped inside. Oh, I'm really scared, Mommy. Man, you guys are pathetic. I'll get it. Where's the fire extinguisher? By the stairs next to the locker room. But don't think I've forgiven you, Hopkins. It's not my fault. Oh, where'd he go then, you tramp? Oh, you call it a tramp. I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Now he's gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, King. Quit poking me. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me, where's Johnny? I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little brokenhearted after we split up, but it's not my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Woolworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know... He goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. 
Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies, sex pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. You are leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It's Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your husband friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house in Old Bulworth Vale. Hey, Russell. I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. Damn. They're locked. Good. That's what I thought. 
now. What made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Aw, oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we'd make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on. You're going to help me make him pay for his lies. Huh. Look where you're going. <laughs> Very funny. I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, uh, now, we're even. Ah, uh, my nose. How you doing, Clint? Me? Just fine. Ah, uh, uh, top of the world. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You seem really balanced. That's what my shrink said. Then I headbutted him like this. Ah. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay, man. All right, buddy. <laughs> you think I'm a moron, don't you? You think I'm a joke, huh? No, man, relax. You want me to headbutt you? You want to fight me? Because I really like that. Come on, man. We don't need to fight. We're friends. You know that. Really? Then get me a bike. I want a bike, or I want a bike. All right, I'll get you a bike. Wait here. A bike? Yeah. Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You want to have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? It's not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on. What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. Hey! What are you doing, school kid? Why do you care? Because you don't belong around here. Says who? Me! You? Uh -huh. You think you're funny, huh? You're a loser, man. <sighs> Damn straight. You're awesome. Do that again. I'm crazy, rich boy, crazy. And you are starting to annoy me. I'm not rich. I hate the rich kids. <sighs> not as much as I do. <sighs> I really hate that. Man, you've got issues. You saying I'm crazy? No, man. Because I am. Okay, fine. You're crazy. And someone's gonna get hurt. I don't doubt it. Those rich scum. Go smash up their mailboxes. Take my bat. Use her well. Beat any rich scum you come across. Why? Because it's them or you. Well, I know one thing. It's not gonna be me. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Well, Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. What are you hiding from? I'm here for your safety. Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turn. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend, Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> Alright, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America! We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people. For peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Finish, you bunch of bitches. Satisfied. <laughs> Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> Come out! Jeez, I've been 
Gary. Why not? I won. I tricked everyone, starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects. Me. I won. You are sad, man. I might be sad, but I won your world, moron. And don't you forget, you did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins. You're like a puppet, only dumber. Whatever. Let's finish this. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would have if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dog to school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come in on time, me boy! Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother... What letter? Lin, Okaeri, the trip was fun, right? Everyone was waiting. Lin got back when I got home, and I prepared a plan for the present. I prepared it. You're waiting for me, right? I'm waiting for you.